Hey YouTubers, so in this example, we're going to create a simple cube. We're going to put a hole with a countersink in it. And I'm going to use the simplest of methods to do this. Now, there are more advanced ways to do this, um, such as constraining this hole, constraining the um, sides of the cube on the, um, the default datum planes to um, make them always stay centered on those default datum planes no matter what you change the size of the cube to. However, in this video, we're going to keep it very simple and we will actually dimension um, to the uh, datums. We will also dimension the hole to uh, surfaces instead of uh, going that route. That way you can see how to locate a hole. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is go to new, new part. And uh, two ways to get this started. Um, start 2D sketch or click extrude, which will ask you basically create 2D sketch. A lot of other software programs, when you click that or create solid protrusion, it, um, it will right at the end ask you to extrude it. So um, I'm kind of surprised that this one doesn't step through that. But um, all right. So there are your basically your default planes you've got the xy plane which is pretty much what i would say i sketch on 75 to 90 percent of the time um your yz plane which um i rarely ever sketch on and then sometimes i will use the xz plane in this example we're going to use the xy plane so i click on it and now I'm in here and I'm going to, I could sketch a line here, um, sketch four lines to make a, basically a square, um, but why not take advantage of rectangle? And that's what we're gonna do. So um, I'm purposely not going to draw this perfectly um, aligned are centered on the datum. So sketching it like this. And now we're going to go in and dimension it. So we've got that and I'm gonna make all of these uh, one inch. And so to dimension, I basically left clicked on that uh, horizontal line and it brought this up and now I'm dragging it down to this location and clicking the left button and then I'm going to um, I would type one again look like it automatically made it one all right now we need to locate these so I'm going to click on that and then um, going over to the origin where I've got my different planes uh, I want this dimension to the XC plane and I'm going to change that to 0.5. And then we're going to drop a dimension here to our XC plane. And then I'm going to change that to 0.5. So now we're completely centered. So I'm going to say finish sketch. And boom, this is where you would expect it to go into extrude mode. Click extrude one more time, change that, it's defaulting to one, so that's good. Now let's go back to that um, because I didn't show you everything in there. So double clicking on the extrusion brings that feature back up. And just so you can see these different things, um, over on the left, if I want the output to be a solid, which I do, I click that. If I wanted it to um, be a surface, um, that's where you would you would change that. Um, so now we're talking about which way it's direct 
is extruding off of that XY datum. So it's basically coming towards the uh, the screen or um, from what you see here, it's going um, towards the screen to the left. If you were in there sketching, um, it's basically coming at you. Uh, direction two is away from you. Symmetric puts it exactly um, centered on that datum. And then asymmetric allows you to change. You can have, uh, since this is one inch, we could have 0.75 on this side of the datum and 0.2 by on there. We want symmetric for this example, so we're going to click OK. And then we have our box. Now, for the hole, um, basically I clicked on the hole feature. And nowhere in here do you see um, where the how you're going to locate the hole necessarily. So I'll show you how to do that after we get out of here. But basically wants you to put your hole on one of these surfaces. So we're going to put it over here. And the default is a simple hole. Um, we could have a clearance hole, we could have a tap hole, or we could have a taper tap hole. I'm going to keep it on simple. Now for seat, we could click none, counter bore, spot face, or counter sink. I'm going to keep it on counter sink. Now, notice down here the geometry uh, is changing from what you see. So that's showing the um, counter sink. If I click on spot face, you see down here it's changed. Counter bore, and then none. We're going to keep the counter sink. And I'm just going to keep the whole size 0.25. That's good. So we're happy. Oh, wait a second. Now, the only thing is it's not centered on our part. Um, how do I do that? Easy enough. Now I come in here, I click on Sketch. And I'm going to dimension from the center of our hole, which is right there, to this surface. Then I'm going to click on it again. And, sorry, click on it again and click this surface. And change that to 0.5. And I'm also change this to 0.5. Now I'm going to select finish sketch. It automatically regenerates and it is in the center of my hole. So when we go through this, you can see that, or excuse me, I say center of the hole. The hole is in the center of the part. So that's basically all there is for this example. Thanks for checking it out. Please like, please subscribe.